Last time on the Hardcore Iron Man series, we set out on our goal of getting level 95 Slayer, and we made some pretty decent progress. I got up to level 94, and in the process of that, I got a bunch of Earth Orbs from Abyssal Sire, as well as a bunch of Fire Orbs from Cerberus. So, considering I've been a little bit low on money as of late, I'm gonna make these into Fire and Earth Battle Staves and Elk them. Well, we ended up with just under 600 Fire Battle Staves and about 550 Earth Battle Staves. Uh, unfortunately, I do have some extra orbs and not enough Battle Staves to go with them, but let's go ahead and Elk these. Uh, oh, well, okay. I'm on the wrong spellbook, so let's Elk these after I change my spellbook. Damn, this actually turned out to be more money than I thought it was going to. With our last battle staff alked, we got a total of 10.7 mil from those battle staffs. And if I add that to my current cash stack, we are at 21 mil. Beautiful. Fifty-five Abyssal Demons. Last episode, we did get an Unsired. Wasn't what we wanted, though, but I think maybe we'll uh, be sending a little more Sire. See if we can get a, a Bludgeon piece this episode. Yes! There we go! That's what we like to see. 389... Sorry, 398. I can't read. 398 kill count. There is Unsired number three. We didn't have to wait nearly as long to get this one, so happy about that. Another head? Oh, no. I hope I haven't just jinxed myself. So Unsired number one was a bludgeon piece. Unsired number two, which we got last episode, was an abyssal head. And Unsired number three is... Bruh. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> Come on! Ah, oh, dear. I'm, I'm sad. I'm not angry. I'm sad. Whoa. What? What? Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, so... Now, now, don't get caught up in the fact that I got two of them. That's irrelevant. When you get a rare drop table drop at Sire, you automatically get two of them. But a fucking shield left half? Oh no. Oh dearie me. Well, I reckon this will be my last Abyssal Sire kill of this task. Uh, so we got one unsired earlier on. And then, you know, after the shield left tasks, I reckon that's probably about all of our luck expended. But another 107 Sire kills done this task. Oh! Hey! I didn't even notice it over there. Hey, we got an Abyssal Whip. Beautiful. We did, and uh, we got an Abyssal Head off of Sire. Trash. We come back to good old regular Abbey Demons and we are rewarded with a whip. Now, this is actually a very nice drop. Since I've been using my Abyssal Tentacle, it's uh, it's good to stock up on extra whips. Hey! There's Bottomless Compost Bucket number 2 on 113. Now, of course, I don't, you know, have any use for a second one, but... You know, that's just how that goes. I go over, over 100 dry for the first one and then you get another one, like, 10 kills later. Hey, there's another farming level. Like I mentioned a couple of videos back, I'm starting to do some more tree runs and such, and it's paying off. There's level 96 farming. I hate to be this guy, but when you train Slayer, you really see the damnedest things, man. Full melee gear, dragon crossbow, firing away. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't get it. There is our 400th Slayer task completed. This rune dragon is railing me. Oh my god. There is our 400th Slayer task in a row completed. Gives us a big 450 point boost. At the moment though, don't really have that much to spend Slayer points on. But, when I unlock Hydra, I may need to skip a lot to get tasks. So, they'll come in handy. You know this guy is cosplaying as... He's cosplaying as a half-full prayer pot. <laughs> Dude! Duradel is... I, I just keep getting these fat XP tasks. Holy shit. 
Well, there is yet another Necreal task wrapped up. We are 250k off of 99 Magic and less than 300k to 95 Slayer. So we're getting very close to both now. 200 Abyssal Demon. I swear to God, it just it, my Slayer grind for the past week has been Abbey Demons or Necreal and like nothing else. It's kind of weird. Well, I'm not going to do nearly as much Sire from this task as I have the uh, the past few tasks. But this is going to be the big 500 KC right here. Magic Logs. Yeah, I've only killed uh, 38 Sire on task. But, you know, as of right now, I'm 220k off of 95 Slayer. I don't want to spend that much time killing Sire. I want to just get this level over with, so... Well, uh, we'll call it good for there. 500 KC. In case you're unaware, a couple of episodes back, I got two pairs of Bandos assets. And at the end of last video, I mentioned that I wanted to do some more Bandos on this video because, well, hey, I'd like to get the BCP to go with those assets. So after finishing my Sire trip, uh, I decided, you know what, let's take a little bit of a break from Slayer. Let's go do some Bandos. Oh, and by the way, don't worry about the banana suit. It's, uh... It's a sex thing. What? Bando's boots? Oh, you know what? It's a unique. <laughs> I'm happy about it. I'm very happy about it, actually. I've been doing a lot of Feeder of Blood this week, but I decided to take a little bit of a break. Do some Bando's today instead. And there's our first pair of Bando's boots at 168 KC. Hey, listen. It's a unique. Therefore, I'm happy. But General Gador, I want you to listen... I want you to listen clearly. If you give me a second pair of boots, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I, well, actually, I'm, I'm gonna kill you either way, so you do what you want. What? Bandos! What did I say? I said, God damn it, I said, don't give me. What is with this boss? I just seem to get, I seem to get drops in twos. I get tassets, then I get another pair. I get boots, then I get another pair of boots. What the hell? <laughs> I have been waiting for this day. Finally. 186 Greater Demons. Now, am I gonna do Zami? No. I'm not gonna do Zami, because I'm almost at a Slayer level. Fuck Zami. I am excited because I have a bunch of Dark Totems. I've been stacking these babies up for a while. We got seven Dark Totems ready to use. So, that should give me a good bit of XP. And... Maybe we get the pet, I hope. Okay, some grimy Torstals from the first one. 20 runite bars. That's a pretty good drop. Hey, there we go. I figured we'd get a few of those. There's, uh, on kill number three, there's the first elite clue. Oh, look at that. Back to back. Another elite clue scroll. And holy shit, my third elite clue in a row. What's the drop rate on these things? Four elite clues in a row. Hello, Scotties. Oh my god. You're actually kidding. Five elite clue scrolls in a row. That's unbelievable. Unfortunately, no pet, but that's crazy. That's actually nuts, dude. Well, that was certainly fun in seven Scotizo kills. We got, obviously, seven hard clue scrolls and also five elite clue scrolls, which is crazy. Now, I don't have seven hard caskets. I had to drop a few of them uh, because they were deep wilderness steps, and I just didn't feel like doing them. But we do also have four elites, and I stacked them all up, so let's open them. And I am gonna juggle the, uh, the master clue scroll as well, whilst I open these. If I happen to get a new master, then I'll probably just say peace to this one. Okay, uh, let's start with the hard caskets. And that is terrible! Okay, so the hard clue scrolls are a bit disappointing. And now on to the four elites, which will hopefully be a bit more exciting. Oh! A top hat and a new master clue scroll right off the bat. Holy shit. We like to see that. Number two is pretty terrible. Number three, also pretty terrible. Although that could be the Bandos page I need, I have no idea. And last but not least, also junk, but uh, yo, yo, I'm happy. I'm happy! Look at the top hat! That is the message we wanted to see. You've obtained a casket. So, you know a few episodes back we had the one with the Pharaoh Scepter? Well, he's gone, and it was worth it, because we have the casket. 
Uh, now the question is, is the casket any good? No. I mean, 600k is pretty good, but now, hopefully we can continue to do more masters as we, as we go forward. Alright, 232 Necreal. We're 141k off of 99 Magic, so that will definitely get us to 99. Love to see that. Okay, so at the moment, I am 132 XP off of 99. Now, at the moment, I've got a untrimmed hit points cape, and I'm gonna do my darndest to keep it. Okay, how much XP do these give a piece? Surely not very much. Okay, more than I thought. Okay, so we'll drop the hit points cape on the floor, first and foremost. And we'll kill the man. I'm 12 XP short. I'm trolling. Okay, next one we'll do it. Where's he at? There's gotta be another guy in here somewhere. Ice blitz him. And there we go. There is level 99 of magic. So other than hit points, that's my first... I mean, you know, hit points is kind of a passive thing, so you could almost say that's my first combat 99. It's not, but, you know, it kind of feels that way. Definitely unexpected. My first combat 99 on almost all of my accounts has always been strength, so... Switching it up a little bit. Okay, so since the hit points cape is on the floor, I need to hurry up and buy myself a magic cape, and I'm gonna put it to use immediately. Could you tell me about your cape? Yada, yada, yada... Uh, yes, please. Oh, you actually buy it through the trade option. I see. Okay. There we go. There is the 99 magic skill cape, which is super useful. And I'll explain in a moment. But firstly, we're going to spellbook swap to the standard spellbook right now. So that way I can use the telekinetic grab spell. And if I've done... Stop opening the door! If I've done this properly... I can telegrab my hit points, Cape, and it will still be untrimmed. Ah, yes, we've done it. Perfect, okay. So, if you couldn't tell what I just did, the magic skill cape is extremely useful. It allows you to change your spell book five times a day. So no more running into the desert to get on the ancient spell book. I can just swap with my cape, and it's going to be so convenient. Well, this should be the Bloodveld task completed in just a moment here. I got some absolutely fat XP off of this task. It was unbelievable. We're down to, uh, well, it'll be less than 50k until 95 Slayer now. So, we're pretty much one, like, Necreal task away. We could we could be one and done. Okay. I... Oh, okay, listen. I really want to finish 95 Slayer, but I also need to get Bandos pieces, so I, I have to. We, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take all 35. Let's go to Bandos. No, no. Fuck your rune sword. Get that out of my face. <laughs> I just accidentally quoted Nacho Libre. Surprise. Get that card out of my face. God damn, you really, you really do hate to see the rune sword. You really, you really do hate to see it. Yo, my sword got longer. Let's go. My mom always said my, my sword would grow eventually. It finally did. Hey, a god sword shard one. I mean, it, you know, it's not the Bando's chest plate we were looking for. But weirdly enough, in all the god wars I've done, between, between all the boss kills I've done, this is my first god sword shard, period. Across the board, which is pretty weird. So, uh, you know what? I'm happy. We finally have a God Sword Shard on the list. Okay, there is the Bandos task completed. And a Rune 2 Ander. So, unfortunately, uh, no Bandos armor uniques or anything. We got the God Sword Shard, and frankly, I had a blast. Killing this thing with the extra 15% damage is so fun. What is that? No! I need to finish my level! No! I need to finish the... F fucking... I, I will do... I will do three. I will do... I will do... I will do three. Armadillo God Wars on a Hardcore Iron Man is really, really bad. Unfortunately, Armadillo Kill Count is the slowest of all of them. You would typically use an Ecumenical Key, but as a Hardcore Iron Man, you can't really use an Ecumenical Key because you have to go to the Wilderness God Wars Dungeon. Well, I mean, you, you could use one, but... 
You'd have some big balls if you were doing that. And of course, another commonly used thing for Armadil is Black Chinchampas, which are, again, located in the wilderness, so you can't really use those either. Now, you can use Red Chinchampas. In my opinion, they're not really all that worth it. You know, maybe compared to, like, a Rune Crossbow, I guess they could be worth it. Uh, but considering I got lucky, and I have a Twisted Bow, um, using Twisted Bow only, and then Shield Swapping, it's not bad. I mean, you know, compared to Black Chin Chompas, it sucks, but it, it gets the job done. At this rate, I feel like I'm gonna do better just face tanking it. <laughs> to be honest. Alright, there's Kriara KC number one. Now, because that was the last Gobbler's boss I had left to kill, that is a Fremnik Elite task completed. Ah, jeez. I forgot to record it, but, uh, there we go. There's the Criara task completed. That was honestly pretty fun. I should have, uh, should have taken more than three. 2.2k until the level. You, you can't, you, this has to, I mean. Sure, whatever, fine, whatever. I'll just go kill enough of those to get the level, and then I'm skipping the rest, whatever. Here it is, the last one. Man, that was, uh... That was a bit of a fiasco getting the level, but there we go. There is level 95 Slayer, which means that we can now kill Hydra. Wait, Hydras? That, that seems wrong. Ah, whatever. So if you were unaware, uh, Konar is the only Slayer Master that can assign you Hydra. Now, she can also really commonly assign uh, Worms and Drakes, but I've already got them blocked, so that's going to give me the best chance possible to get assigned Hydra. So, we'll cancel the rest of our Baron Spectres, and surely we, we just get it on our first try, obviously. How easy is this video game? How, how easy can a game be? Honestly, it, it's just, it's just, there's just nothing to it, really. There's just nothing to it. This video is getting pretty long as it is, so I want to wrap it up soon. But before I do that, I have to kill at least one Alchemical Hydra. And I must say, my first Alchemical Hydra kill on this account was a bit of a struggle. It, to be fair, the last time I killed it was probably at least a year and a half ago. It would have been whenever Iron Mammal was still missing a drop here. And that was, yeah, a very long time ago. But I think bossing in, in RuneScape is kind of like riding a bike. They say once you learn it, you never really forget. Now, if you're like me, I got back on a bike after years of not riding it, and it felt pretty awkward. However, you know, I pedaled for a few minutes, and then the muscle memory came back. And that's just like this. You know, the first kill was pretty awkward, but I, I have faith that give me a few more kills and I'll get right back to where I was before. Okay, that was pretty terrible, but kill number one. Dragon knives? What? How rare is that? Oh no. That's gotta be, I, I'm pretty sure that's extremely rare. Like, I'm pretty sure that is really, really rare. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Well, this was absolutely depressing to look up. But the Dragon Knives are 1 out of 2,000. They are literally double the drop rate of the Hydra's Claw. The only thing more rare that I could have gotten would have been the pet. <laughs> Which is just ridiculous, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Regardless, we made some crazy progress in this video. Thank you all so much for watching it. First and foremost, of course, we got, uh, we got 99 Magic, which I'm very happy about. Super, super useful skill cape. Uh, we got Bandos Boots, which were unique. And then we got, well, more Bandos Boots. And we got level 95 Slayer and unlocked the Alchemical Hydra. Next episode, I will continue with that task and we'll see if we can get any more drops. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and I will see you all soon.